evening everybody um tonight i'm just gonna do a quick tutorial on how to make the scandinavian christmas star um i usually put these on packages and i have a little hanger on them and people can um use them for ornaments so the first thing you need is your material and I have some leftover I have um, green and red let me get my iron going and you're gonna make like bias tape so you need two pieces of green and it's four by like 20. So I just put this down, get my rotary cutter. And you can do this with scrap. Um, you know, you can, so you might show a seam but you can use up the material. Get that off of there. Okay. So you're gonna have two pieces of green, four by 22. All right, then I'm gonna get my red and do the exact same thing. So four by 22. If you have a glue gun or fabric glue and some clips, it'll work a lot better. So all we're going to do is make bias tape. So fold this in half. And then bring up one corner to the crease line. Bring up the other one. And then fold them on top of each other. And then fold these in half. I should have used my starch a little. I use some quilter starch and it just helps make it a little bit stiffer. I just kind of spray it on. So do this to all four pieces and then I'll be back and I'll show you how we lay it out. Okay, now you're gonna make your square. So you have your pieces. Now the folds up top here Salvage. This is folded salvage. Folded salvage. Folded salvage. Let me 
got to have it that way so it um, interlocks with each other. So just bring this piece down a little. Then open up your left hand side red and just put that in there and then close it. Okay, then come over to your right side and you're going to put, open this up, put it all in and open up this little loop here and put it in and then open up the loop on the bottom and put all of this in there. Now you're just going to start to tighten this up and just take your time. Okay, so then you'll have something like this. And just, you know, check if at least they're halfway even. So you'll have a nice little square. And you can pull, but not like real hard, but just enough to get it so it it's nice and flat like that. Okay. Once you get this done flip it so this red piece is going to come down and this red piece is going to go up and I suggest you get a pen and paper to write this down because it can get confusing all right so you're going to take this green Go over this and under. Take this green on the left. Go over the red, but you're gonna tuck it in here. Okay, and then just tighten it up again. Now you're going to flip it over. Okay, and we are going to be working with these long strips. So what you want to do is grab your strip and kind of twist and make like a half arrow. You want a nice point. And you want to try to get it as even as you can to this green. And then you're going to turn it again and make a point. And then flip it onto each other. Now this is where your clips come in and I suggest you use clips. And I kind of just stick my nail down there to try to get the best point I can. Clip this. Then you're going to come under this green. And sometimes you need tweezers or sometimes I can grab it with my nails. And you want to try to keep this as straight as you can. So I just got to fix my little green there. Okay. And then tug again. Then you're going to turn it. 
you're going to move this red out of the way. You're going to take this green piece, twist it towards you again, make that point, make a point that looks like an arrow, flip it on top of each other, get a clip, And now you're going to go under this red band. I don't know if I turned on. Did I turn on my glue gun? No, let me turn on my glue gun quick so that heats up. Then come back over, you can flip that back over. Come back over, turn it again, flip this green out of the way. Twist this down, make your point, make your arrow. Put this on top of there. Clip it. And now you're going to go under this green. Kind of stick it through there. Grab it. Straighten it out. Okay, flip that back over. Turn it again, flip this red out of the way, take your tail, make a point, make your arrow, and lay it on top of each other, clip it. Okay, now this is going to go under the red band. Straighten it out, flip that over. So you got one side of your star done. Okay, now you're gonna flip this over. All right, and you're gonna start working with your big tails. So you're gonna do the exact same thing. You're gonna turn it make a point, make your arrow, come back on top of each other, try to get that point good, clip it, now come under this green. Straighten that out. Okay, turn it again. Move the red out of the way. Take your green. Make your turn. Make your point. Make your arrow. Put it on top and clip. Okay, now you're going to go under this red band. Let's try to get it. Get everything straight. Turn it again, take 
this green out of the way. Turn the fabric towards you, twist it, make your point, fold it so you have an arrow, flip it on top, clip, and now you're going to go under this green band. that under. It's Christmas in July. Okay, one more time. Flip your red out of the way. Turn your material. Make your point. Make your arrow. Put it on top of each other. clip and bring it under this red. Okay, now we're going to get rid of our tails. This is the star. So let me get my phone over here. Okay, what you're going to do glue gun's hot enough. I'm just going to try to fix that where they're even. So between this red and this green, you're going to put a drop of glue in and hold it for a minute. Then get your scissors and as close as you can to the red without cutting into it you're going to cut this tail off and then you just go on to the next one just put some glue in And the same thing, as close as you can. Sometimes I pull it a little to try to get where it'll pop back in. Okay. Come to your next one. Drop a little glue in there. Clip real close. to the next one. Just drop a little glue in there and cut as close as you can. Okay. Now, flip it over and you're going to do the exact same thing. So, Move that out of the way. Drop some glue in. And cut away. And again. more times. Drop your glue in. Okay, and last one. And then you can take off your clip. So you have something like this. 
then you can put a hanger or whatever string cording and you can hang it on there. I'll say, okay, so that's the Scandinavian folded star. That's how you do that. And like I said, just you can take a needle and thread or embroidery thread and just make a little hanger. And I just put these on gifts with their name tag so they have a little ornament. Okay, also, maybe Wednesday, I'll show you how to do this one. This isn't like a snowflake. And this is really pretty. I did one in gold and silver or something like that. It was really pretty. So this one, you need a glue gun. So, um, just so you know. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be making a nightgown for my neighbor. Um, the other shirt, I think I told you, I was going to make. And it is um, another form-fitting. And it's just too hot right now to have a form-fitting shirt on. So, um... I'm going to make my neighbor her nightgown. I'm going to make it out of the white material that I have. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Um, I don't know where I put the... Oh, right there. So it's going to be Butter Rick B5792. And I probably will make her this one. So that's what I'm planning on doing um, tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, it's just a little something to do for Christmas. Um, I think I made like 50 of them last year. So it was it was a lot of fun. So anyways, you all have a good night. Um, please like, share, subscribe, comment, thumbs up. And um, you all have a good night. Pray for our country. And I will see you tomorrow.